YALA stands for yet another low-level agent handler. It is a software for the quick generation of interactive uh, characters, virtual characters, and uh, it is composed of two components. First, there is a Blender plugin or add-on in Blender terminology, and then there is a, a Unity package. So you first start by creating a character in Blender using an uh, add-on called Manuel Bastioni Lab. Then you use uh, the Yalla add-on to edit this character in Blender. And finally, you import the character in Unity and you use the Yalla Unity package to make the character interactive. In this first tutorial, we will show how to create a character uh, in Blender and uh, have it ready to be imported in the Unity game engine. So, welcome to the Yala tutorial. In this uh, first tutorial, we show you how to create a new character with Blender. First, open Blender and then be sure that you downloaded and installed a couple of plugins. First plugin is the excellent Manuel Bastioni Laboratory. You can check the documentation to see the link. And the second is the Yala add on that you can uh, download for, from our uh, SDK. So the first step is to select a typology of a uh, phenotype for the character. We use the default uh, Caucasian female. You init the character. The character uh, is ready in its default proportions. This is all Manuel Bastioni Lab features. And um, then you can uh, edit the proportion of the character. The layout you see that there is an armature and uh, geometry inside the mesh. You can edit the character in two ways. Parameter by parameter, you have several categories, and you can adjust, for example, the length of the forearms, or you can go to another category like the legs and adjust the size of the ankles down there. And uh, this is a quite long and tedious job, and uh, you can play with more than 200 parameters, or more easy, you go to the random generator, which generates a random character for you, and we try several uh, types. All the aspects of the body are um, altered. For example, uh, yeah, we we'll stick to this big woman with pointy ears and big jaw, and we go to the finalize tool. You unselect the save uh, images. Uh, you can leave it selected if you want to say store the proportion of your character into a JSON file, but in this case we don't do it. And then you edit the prefix, you put the name of your character, for example, we call this Tanya. And then you click on finalize. And it will take a while. After finalization, you can select the body and go to our Yalla panel, and there is the magic button to set up a character. If you click Setup, essentially Yalla will create for you, uh, will do many things like adjusting the materials and creating new bones to have the character running in the Blender game engine, if you use it, or adjust the materials for Unity. Move the light to see better some details. You see the skin is tuned for real-time rendering and if we watch the skeleton we see that we can uh, animate the character go to pose mode and there are more bones created procedurally with our setup. For example, the eyes, to understand where are the eyes in space, used for the eye gaze feature, and the tip of the head uh, that is used for uh, positioning the camera. At this point, 
we append clothes. We start to dress our character. You click append, you go to look for uh, the file. It is in the Yalla assets, which is uh, another download from our website. We choose, for example, the woman clothes set 2. We go into the object category and we shift click to select the bottoms, the shoes and the tops. You see now that the, the clothes have different proportion with respect to the character. But the first thing we do is to, we parent the clothes under the same armature. We do it for the tops, for the shoes, and for the bottoms. So the parent to the armature. Now, we select the Manuel Bastioni lab again, and uh, we use the excellent proxy fitting tool. You select the body and the part you want to fit. You want to be sure that the transfer weight is selected, so the clothes will be animated as the skin, and we click Fit Proxy. And we repeat the same for the tops. As you see, after fitting, the, the shirt will fit the body. It will be adjusted inside to fit the body. And finally, we do for the shoes. Now, if you try to animate the character, you see that there is an armature modifier, and we can animate the body and the clothes all together. We go to select a scene containing hair for the character. We have this woman hair too, again object and the hair model. And we do the same thing. We go to the Manuel Bastioni pan panel, we fit the body with the hair. We change the parent. And now we can animate, you see, if we move the head, the hair are simply there attached. Now the character is uh, simply standing and we can see that in the, doc, in the doc sheet action editor we can see that there is a new animation, which is the A pose. We created this animation during the setup automatically. This is a one keyframe animation containing the character frozen at the standing position. It is useful for some features. But now we import more animation. We go to select a scene in an animation folder. For example, we need an idle animation. Uh, the woman will simply move a bit in place. We have these uh, slow braids, for example. After importing, we see that the animation is there in the catalog. We can test it. This is to give a bit of life to the character. And we can append more animations. We select some from the animation set as a demonstration. We select, for example, salsa dancing, a military salute and waving to say hello. And you see them in the list. We test the salsa. with materials. And finally, we append more animations for the locomotion. We go to select the scene containing the work set, the action folder. We need three animations, the turn, two sides, and to walk forward. Now you see in the list that animations have a zero counter, 
so that they are not referenced. If we save the scene in this way, we lose the animations, so we have to force them. And in order to force them all at once, we prepared a nice button set F to all actions. Now all the actions have the F flag and they will stay in the scene after saving. We can unlink the current animation, reset with a button the character to its own, uh, default A pose. Before saving, we need to pack all the texture inside the, the Blender file. So we will be able to use all these textures inside Unity. After creating the character, you might want to delete some vertices. This is because in some uh, positions, the skin and the clothes might compenetrate. Or maybe you want to delete the, the vertices of the body just to optimize performance and to reduce the, uh, the quantity of vertices sent to the video card. So we do it manually here. We select the body. We hide, for example, the bottoms. We start from the, the bottom and uh, we have a possibility with the Yala to load pre-made vertex groups. We created three vertex groups. One to delete, select the vertices of the legs, one for the vertices of the top with long sleeves and one for the top with short sleeves. So essentially you select the mask for the leg you go to edit mode and you select all these vertices and now by hitting del key you can delete all these vertices at once of course it works only if you cover completely the feet and the legs with with clothes if you have a short gun you have to uh, edit manually this selection then you move to the top part we have the vertex group the the, the vertex group for um, the full top and you, if you delete them you see that in some cases there might be a problem so here you can see sorry for uh, there is a corruption in the model this is a problem of the 3d model of the shirt that we are gonna fix but you see that there where there is the the bottom of the of the shirt uh, you see through. So we deleted more vertices than needed. In this case, you need to undo. And edit manually which vertices you are going to delete. And for example, we remove from the selection some vertices there in the area we want to, to keep. Now, if we show the tops, the shirt, we see that the selection is good. We need still to delete an area between the top and the, and the legs. We select every, uh, a vertex, Ctrl L to select all the linked vertices, and we delete them. And finally, the character is ready to be used in Unity. Consider that after deleting the vertices, will be impossible to use the proxy fitting of Manuel Bastioni Lab because the character is not recognized anymore as a valid uh, Manuel Bastioni character. So remember you have to do the vertex deletion only after fitting all the clothes to your character. We can save the file. We name the file with the name of the character. Okay, now this character is ready to be imported in Unity. And in the next tutorial, we will see how to import this character in Unity, configure it and animate it using the YALA scripts provided for the Unity projects. Thank you.